Hello? Run. Run. It said run. Okay, I don't think he likes us very much. I'm here. Hello, good morning. So today we're going to Drum Castle, which apparently is one of the other most haunted castles here in Scotland, also run by the National Trust. And it's a Sunday today and we're a bit dumb and we thought buses would be running normally. But of course we are in northeastern Scotland and nothing runs properly on Sundays. So we missed our 10 o'clock bus by two minutes thinking that the bus left at half past, sorry, at quarter past 10 like it did yesterday. Turns out it's just one every hour. So now we're gonna have to wait until 11 o'clock. It's currently 25 past 10, drinking our Starbucks. And I'm a bit angry because I think I said sugar free because you know, we're on a diet. And they gave me, I think they gave me normal syrup. So, you know, it is what it is. You win some, you lose some. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you at Drum Castle very soon. Oh, and today we're also doing a spirit box. Not, a, not an, I don't have an actual spirit box, but I've got a spirit box app on my phone, which I know some other ghost hunters use. So if we see or hear or feel anything, we're gonna, we're gonna turn it on and try to speak to the dead. See you at Drum Castle. right now and I'm speaking to one of the staff members here and she's had experiences in practice and you were saying that you heard footsteps when you were hiding in a corner or something? Yes, I yes. was hiding in the uh, corner uh, of the long gallery at the top of practice. It's a tiny turret and I was hiding there at night to um, participate in the Halloween tours. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was waiting for on my shift, waited about 40 minutes in the dark on my own. Great time. <laughs> Great. Uh, <laughs> not creepy at all. No. <laughs> no, not at all. Um, when um, from one of the doors coming towards my turret, I heard footsteps the first time. Very slow, very deliberate. The kind of ones you don't feel a person is at yeah. the top of the steps. It, it, it doesn't yeah. creak, right? The we, house does creak sometimes, but not like but, that. But not like that, yeah. Because yeah. we heard that yesterday. Yeah, it has. It was a very distinctive. So one moving, but it doesn't. Fe it felt. It didn't feel opaque. It didn't feel. Yeah, like, exactly. Mm. Yeah, that's a great way to put yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and the first time I was not scared because I thought it was a colleague uh, playing a yeah. prank on me. By the third time, I was <laughs> very scared. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but stayed in my turret. Uh, just, just hoping that it would go away, and mm. eventually it did. And the fourth time I heard footsteps, it was someone. It was a real someone. A real so. person. Yeah. Right. Thank you very, very much. My pleasure. And uh, we'll see you very soon. Hello, so we just came outside, our tour starts in five minutes and the lady was also telling us that um, the blue orbs that you could see in last time's video um, were actually uh, some sort of ghost. So many people think it could have been a ghost, a natural kind of entity, uh, no one really no, some skeptics say it's the light but the blue orbs is definitely a recurring theme and we had actual footage of that so yeah if anyone was skeptic last was was skeptical last time rewatch the Krathis video you will see the orbs by the way this castle is even older than the Krathis castle it was owned by the same family for 650 years so quite exciting it should have lots of ghosts looking forward to it
getting in that picture and she was 20 there. Yeah, she does look very young. Alexander was 10 years older than her. He was 30 when he ran out of the guys so we were told that objects move and this does not look like it should be there don't know just like randomly there like everything is so perfectly situated in the room but we were told that if this was a children's room there could have been children here i have not seen any yet or heard any yet but we'll see the next video i'm about to show you is quite creepy and I had not realised this up until now that I'm editing this video, is that um, I started filming and for some reason, all of a sudden, it went on slow motion and you can hear a breath going on in the background. And yes, maybe you could say it's mine because I'm talking, but it just seems very weird. And because of this possibly paranormal, I say paranormal because my phone had never done this and I've filmed plenty of things on my phone before and I tried doing it again and once you start filming something your phone can't turn to slow motion. If you want to do something in slow motion you have to click on that option from the start. Uh, but you can't hear what I'm seeing in the video because of this. But to summarise I was just saying that um, it was a white hallway and every single door was closed except one of them that was open. I believe these were the servants' rooms, I'm not sure. These were closed to visitors anyway, but there was a door that was ajar and that made me think it was a bit strange. And this may or may not have been a coincidence, but I have a little toiletries bag in my room that just moved as I was talking about the door and stuff, so I don't know if this was a coincidence or not. Anyway, here's a really weird clip. I promise you this has not been edited. Just have a look. This may not seem like much, but all the rooms To open doors so I don't know weird okay so I had to cut a little bit because it was way too long but you could see how at the beginning I'm starting to speak normally and at the end I'm speaking normally and it's just right in the middle like that whole thing that uh, I don't know what happened everything's in slow motion but I promise you this has not been touched I have the same video on my phone and it looks exactly the same on my phone I don't know what it is but I do know because of some things that you're about to witness in the next few scenes, that these ghosts did not like technology. I was threatened by one of them, and uh, another one threw me down the stairs. You will see that right in the next clip. 
and you will also hear my conversations with a couple of spirits. Okay, so um, I went downstairs for a moment and suddenly I felt someone like push me and I fell down and I hit my hip and my, my leg and um, I don't know, I just felt like someone pushed me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because I was bothering them with this. I don't know. Then I did a spirit box to confront whatever had just pushed me down the stairs and I did not record this on camera but I've got it on my phone and I'm going to play it to you now. Hello, is anyone here? My name is Lara and I would like to speak to you. If you don't want me to speak to you, that's fine. You can just say, I'll turn this off if you want me to. Soldier. Ex-soldier? Please, can you say that again? Hi, can you tell me your name? My name is Lara. I'm not sure if you heard me earlier. Did you say you were an ex-soldier? If you want to speak to us, do so now. <laughs> and if you don't, just let me know and I'll shut this off. I do not, do not quite get that. Sorry, I did not get that. Can you say that again? Hello? Run. 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 It said run. Okay, I don't think he likes us very much. Okay, thank you for talking to us. Bye. So we left the room, but I didn't turn the ghost radio off. I just turned it down and we heard something. So listen to this. It said something, but I just turned it off. Go, go, go. go away. It said go away. Okay. Did you? Did you? Smart? And even though I was confused when he said smart, I think he meant smart decision, as in, yes, do leave. <laughs> So this is the library, but we are standing in the former hall of the medieval Tower of Drum. William de Irvine, Owen Irvine built the tower not long after he acquired lands here in 1320s. and most iconic part of John Castle. The area was made into a library in 1842 by Alexander, 18th Laird of Trom, mainly to house his wife's Jean's books. Jean Forbes was the only child of Hugh Forbes of Skivers, Skivers. On his death, he left her a large library of books as well as financial fortune. There are 4,000 books in here. Okay, after the very angry, I'm gonna say man, um, literally, told us to run away um, and to go away. I went to the library now and I just started recording. So far there's nothing on screen. Um. Hello? My name is Lara, is anyone here? Anyone that wants to talk to us? No? Okay.
just as we stopped filming, this happened, but I've got the recording. My name is Laura, is anyone here? Anyone that wants to talk to us? I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Hello, who are you? You sound like a woman. Are you Lady Alexandra? Of course she was not Lady Alexandra, because Lady Alexandra is the lady of another castle. This one was called Anna. Great. She was probably angry because of that. Men. Okay. Uh, my name is Lara. Can you tell me your name? Okay, I don't, I don't quite understand. Yes, I think she's gone now. Okay, you guys, so... What am I, Italian? Basically, long story short, according to the people working in Drum Castle, these, these entities are usually very pacifistic uh, they don't usually interact that much apparently lady alexandra is the one that interacts with the visitors the most um yeah i we asked the lady and she said that um because we contacted two i believe we contacted two um a man and a woman apparently this never happened apparently like no one has been pushed down the stairs no one has been told to leave uh, but i think maybe it's because like maybe i was meddling with them too much um yeah these spirits are usually not that aggressive if aggressive at all lady alexandra is known for leaving little feathers we did not see any feathers um we contacted a woman but we only heard i'm here yeah i don't know what to think of this if you have any ideas any comments any anything any information um please let me know because I would want to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe. Oh, and get your National Trust of Scotland membership because again, the people here in Drum were so nice and so kind and so helpful. And yeah, so shout out to them too. I forgot to ask them the names actually, oops. <laughs> but uh, they, were, they were absolutely wonderful. The people yesterday, they were wonderful too, every single time. Come visit your castles, donate if you can, you know, keep heritage and history alive and I will see you very soon and the sun is annoying me anyway. Bye!